All right, guys, the question on the table is, should the Detroit Lions draft wide receiver Traylon Burks? Now, definitely, we all know that the Detroit Lions need a number one go-to guy. And uh, definitely, I love what this guy brings to the table. He is a beast for Arkansas. If you have not got a chance to watch his body of work, make sure you go watch the film. Make sure you go watch the highlights. Make sure you watch everything about this guy. How he gets out of his breaks. What he does for Arkansas. Because primarily, they play him a lot in the slot. And he's a big body guy. He's six foot three, 225 pounds. Very deceptive, athletic ability. Huge hands. The dude gets custom made gloves at around about 5x. And has incredible catching ability. Traylon Burks is something that the Detroit Lions need. I mean, yeah, I understand that they got Khalif Raymond. Tyrell Williams, he didn't even pan out. They got rid of Perryman before the season even started. So you got a lot of guys that's on the team that really haven't really, really made anything happen. Now, Cephas was getting better before he got hurt. And he was starting to look like that guy that could be a great number two. And um, and then Amara St. Brown, the jury is still out on him. But I definitely think that the Detroit Lions should make Traylon Burks a point of interest. I just think that what this guy brings to the table, you know, his size, his athletic ability. Burks contains deceptive speed. With combined with uh, combining that with his size, makes him a handful in coverage. He is extremely fluid in his movements. This allows him to go through soft spots and coverage, often resulting in chunks of yardage and plays for the Arkansas offense. The unique combination of size and speed and athleticism allows Burke to produce yardage after the catch consistently. It's rare to see him being brought down on the first contact. Burks is very versatile. He does it all for Arkansas. He plays in every receiver spot, whether it be going to the outside, playing in the slot, doing jet sweeps, running the ball, being in the tight end spot. Traylon Burks does it all. And this is something that is very, very unique because the Detroit Lions need a guy like this. You need a guy that has speed. You need a guy that has separation. You need a guy ultimately that's going to be your number one receiver in Detroit. And I just think that Traylon Burke definitely offers what Detroit needs. You need talent. You need talent on this team. The Detroit Lions need talent and they're devoid of talent at the wide receiver position. And I just think that this team just needs to get better. And how do you get better? By making the right draft selections. Now, I don't know what direction the Detroit Lions will go in ultimately in the draft, but we're just making this a point of interest that Traylon Burks is on the table in the first round, and this is something that you got to think about. The dude is a dynamic playmaker, brings it every game, is great when it comes to blocking up field. That's something that you want out of a number one wide receiver. Great catching radius he has. And he's just a phenomenal playmaker, man. The dude does it all. And Detroit Lions need this type of talent on their team. If the Lions want to be successful and they want to start winning games, you got to go out there and find guys that have talent because the team is devoid of it. It's time to go out there and get your number one guy, Traylon Burks could could offer that to the Detroit Lions and would be a great fit with the Detroit Lions because he is so rangy and he can do so many different things. So definitely, I think that the Detroit Lions need to make this uh, something that um, they put on their big board. There's a lot of players that's coming out. You know, you got uh, Chris Olave from Ohio State, Garrett Wilson from Ohio State. You got Drake London. You got Traylon Burks. You got a lot of 
uh, David Bell from Purdue. You got a lot of different receivers that will be coming out in this draft, but I definitely think that he is one of the the best that will be coming into the draft class. And this dude is a dynamic playmaker. And I just think that the Lions do need that big body receiver. A guy that's six foot three, 225, 230 pounds, has large hands, has the ability to play in motion, has the ability to run just about every route in the route tree. And I just love everything about this kid. I just think that he would be a dynamic number one wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. This dude is going to be a first round selection. No doubt in my mind, especially coming out of the SEC. Any player that comes out the SEC normally is uh, a good player normally when they come to the NFL. NFL loves these guys. But he's, uh, I think, uh, since 205, he'll be the first receiver taken out of Arkansas that would probably possibly be in the first round. So the Detroit Lions definitely need to look at him. I think that he, br he poses the skill set. He has the talent that you need as a number one wide receiver, being able to play in multiple uh, positions on a field, being able to do multiple things out of the backfield. Sometimes they even use them as an H-back. This guy is very versatile, and that's just something that the Lions need. They need a guy that they can move around all over the field, place him anywhere, put him in a slot, put him on the outside, and he can get the job done. At six foot three, 225 pounds this dude is a beast and I know that the Detroit Lions need the talent on the team whether or not they select him you know that's up to the Detroit Lions but definitely they need to put him on a big board and make this dude a per point of interest because Traylon Burks is the real deal and if you don't believe me go check out the body of work go check out the film because the tape don't lie all right, you guys, this is Raw Detroit. I'm out of here. Peace.